just, I can't, yeah. I can't contain myself. So I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna go explore on my new Brompton. I can't believe that sentence just came out of my mouth. Hey everybody, so I'm super excited to make this video and share some really awesome news with you all today. So obviously if you read the title of the video, you know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna talk about a Brompton bicycle. But it's really important that you understand that this was not an impulse purchase. This is something that I've been wanting to get for almost a decade and the realization of a very long journey to get here. So nine years ago, I was running a trail race called the Barkley Marathons. If that sounds familiar, you probably saw the documentary, The Race That Eats Its Young. If you haven't, I definitely recommend watching it. It was actually filmed the year that I ran, so you can learn about my story there, but you can also uh, just learn about the ridiculous race itself. So while I was there, I met a really interesting guy from Belgium. His name was Wouter, and I think he's actually featured in the documentary if you watch it. Anyway, one night we were sitting around uh, his tent just chatting and I kept getting distracted by something that I saw inside of his tent. And it just looked like a weird smushed contraption of, of metal and spokes and I, I couldn't figure out what it was that I was looking at. So I finally asked him, I said, what is that thing in your tent? And he said, oh, that's my bicycle, that's my Brompton. And he pulled it out and within 10 seconds and a whole bunch of crazy movements with his hands, I was staring at a full-size bicycle, and I just couldn't figure out what the heck just happened. And he went on to tell me that Bromptons are really popular in Europe, especially in the Netherlands and in Belgium, where a lot of people commute on bike. And I just remember being fascinated by this bike. And then he said, what's really cool about the bikes is that because they're so small and they can fold down so tiny, uh, you can take them anywhere. So you can take them on a bus or a train and tuck them under your legs, or in his case, he took it as his carry-on on the plane from Belgium all the way to Tennessee, got off the plane in Knoxville, and instead of hailing an Uber or renting a car, unfolded his bike, got on it, and biked the 20 miles to the, to the campground where the race was starting. So that just absolutely floored me. And I, at that point, I said, I got to get one of these someday. I don't know when, but I at least got to figure out how I can get my hands on one of these things. So I went back to Pennsylvania where I was in grad school. I tried to see if anyone locally sold them. There are very few places in the United States sell them. So I kind of gave up on it. Well, years went by. 2015, I moved to New England and I was splitting my time between Boston and Vermont. And while I was in Boston, I worked downtown and I took the train every day and I started seeing people with the Bromptons taking them in on the train. There was a shop down the street from where I was living in Boston that also sold them, so I got to test ride a few of them. And as excited as I got though, I just never pulled the trigger on one. It was, they never had the right size or the right configuration or the right color or something else came up and I needed uh, the money for something else. And so I just, I never was able to actually get one. Well, about three weeks ago here in Flagstaff, I went down to Phoenix to meet with some friends and I discovered a shop down there called Porta Pedal Bikes. The entire store only sells foldable bikes. It's run by an older married couple. They've had the shop open for decades. And so I knew that these guys knew their stuff. They only deal in portable bikes. They deal in Brompton and they're a local owned family business. I said, this is the place. If I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna get it here. I test rode a couple different demo models. And so I just kind of said, eh, I don't suppose you guys have any of these coming in right now. They're probably sold out. And they said, yes, they are. They're sold out everywhere. We, can't, we cannot get them in. And anytime we do get an order in, they're already sold before we even get them in. However, we do have a single bike coming in on the next shipment where the person backed out of it. And if you want it, you can claim it now. And I got really excited and I said, oh, but it's probably not the right color, the right configuration, or the right size. And he told me the configuration and it was the exact bike that I had always wanted. When I specced out what I wanted for this bike, it fit all the check boxes. There's hundreds of different configurations you can get. And so the fact that they ordered their bikes in the exact configuration that is what I wanted and they had one coming in and in a color that I liked, uh, I, had to, I had to pull the trigger. And so I put a down payment on it, 
came home, immediately put my old REI commuter bike up on Craigslist and sold it the next day for more than I paid for it, used that money to cover the down payment, and uh, basically I got it dirt cheap. I got the Brompton way cheaper uh, than I was expecting to ever pay for one. So that's the story, that's how I got to today. That was a very long intro. With that out of the way, I wanna show you the bike and I wanna talk about the configuration because if you've never seen a Brompton before, it can be a bit overwhelming on how it basically works, how it unfolds, how it folds, but then also all the different configurations you can get. And so I went with a very specific type of configuration that's perfect for me here in Flagstaff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk you through it right now. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the new bike. I'm so excited right now. Okay, here we go, ready? Uh, so here it is, it is a Brompton H6R. So there's, it's very important, those three things specify three components of the bike. The H specifies the handlebar, the six specifies the gearing, and the R specifies the rack system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you guys through the configuration and explain to you uh, what each one of those things means and why this bike is the perfect configuration. So let's go through it together and hopefully you guys can learn a bit about uh, this bike configuration. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, and it's always the most fun part, is unfolding it. And one of the reasons that I cannot recommend this place in Phoenix enough, this Porta pedal place, is when I picked this up today, the owner spent over an hour with me practicing folding it, unfolding it, explain to me all the little nuances of the bike, things to watch out for, make sure you don't scratch it. And then we went into the uh, workshop and we took the entire back wheel off of a demo bike so he could explain to me, you know, how you change the rear tire, how the gearing works, because uh, this has a very specific type of gearing that's different from a standard bike. So um, it was awesome. I learned so much and I feel so much more comfortable now with the bike. First thing you want to do when you unfold a Brompton is you want to always start with the pedals. You want to get the pedals in the right configuration. So you see I can pick the bike up. It's all locked. Everything's fine. So the first thing you do is you unfold uh, the pedal. The next thing you want to do is you want to lift the seat up because by lifting the seat up, uh, it unlocks the bike. So when, with the seat down, everything is locked so I can pick it up and it won't come apart. But as soon as you pick the seat up, I can open the bike up. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to uh, pull up the handlebars like this, like so, and lock them in place. So now you can see that set up. And then we just tilt it back a little bit and we bring the front around like so and we lock that into place and now the bike is, is in what's called the kickstand configuration so you can just leave it sitting here uh, all set or you can pop it up and open the bike up so there you go that is the Brompton fully opened up ready to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you what is unique about this specific model? I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see the gearing. Man, I'm so excited. I've been wanting this bike for so many years. All right, so now that we're looking at the bike from the front, let me talk a little bit about what the name means and what is very specific and unique to this model. So first off, let me start with the gearing. So the gearing on this bike is six speeds. Now you can get a Brompton in one speed, two speed, three speed, there goes the cat, or six speed. Uh, if all you're gonna do with the bike is use it uh, as a commuter bike and just go to and from work every day uh, on very moderate terrain, then a two or three speed bike will be great. I decided to go with the six speed because I'm gonna take this bike uh, probably on a little bit more aggressive rides than just commutes. So I wanted the maximum number of gears possible. So that's the first thing. That's what the six stands for. The standard gearing on, a, on this bike in this configuration is a 50 tooth sprocket. Uh, that's their, that's their standard configuration. When these guys at the shop order these bikes, they always get them in minus 12% gearing, in other words, a 44-2 sprocket, so, or a chain ring. So 
What that means is uh, it's gonna handle hills a little bit better. Yeah, I won't be able to maybe get quite as fast on it, but where I live in Flagstaff is very hilly, so I would much rather have a bike that operates better on hills and that maybe I sacrifice a little bit on speed. So I knew when I bought a Brompton one day, I wanted a six speed with a minus 12% uh, gearing. And that's exactly what we have here. So that's the first part of it. The R simply means that the bike comes with the rear rack. I wanted a rear rack for two reasons. One, because I wanna use it for, for cargo, uh, to put a bag on the back when I go in to commute into work every day. And two, when you fold it up and you roll it around, it has it's just more stable because you have four points of contact as opposed to the rackless unit, which just has a single tire in the back. So even though it's a little bit heavier, I wanted the ability to have a rear rack. Now this bike also does come with a front uh, mounting unit so that you can mount Brompton bags on the front as well. But all, even with that, I still wanted the rear rack. So that's what the R stands for. So now you've got the six R. And last but not least, you've got the H. Now there are three handlebar configurations that you can get when you get a Brompton. You can get an S, an M, or an H. Actually, I think there was a P at one point too, but I don't know if they still make that one anymore. So the S handlebars are the low flat handlebars. They're very, very uh, lightweight. Uh, when you ride with the S handlebars, you're hunched way over, you're very streamlined, aerodynamic, perfect for if you want the lightest configuration possible and perfect for speed. For me, I didn't like that configuration because I felt too hunched over. So I always thought that if I ever got a Brompton, I would get a M handlebar, which is the standard handlebars. They look just like the handlebars that you see here, okay? but just a tiny little bit shorter, about an inch and a half shorter. And I figured with my height, 5'9", I'm a, I'm a pretty small guy, um, that that's sort of the standard configuration. And I always assumed that the H bars were for people that were really tall. And anytime I test rode a bike, I always test rode the M. Well, when I was down in Phoenix three weeks ago, test riding their bikes in the shop, the guy said, you know what? Humor me and test ride the H, because you never know you might like it. Well, sure enough, I test rode the H and I loved it. The handlebars are about an inch and a half higher and I love that the seating position is really upright and comfortable. It just feels casual. Uh, it's just a perfect commuter feel for me. I just didn't want to be leaning over very much. I wanted that upright position. This just seemed to make perfect sense. And so when they told me that they had this bike available and it was in an H6R with a minus 12% gear configuration, it was a no brainer. So there you go, there is the bike. Uh, I haven't named the bike yet, but I am super excited to start commuting on it and getting out on some rides. Obviously, I, at some point, I'm gonna have to christen it with a century ride, which should be interesting. <laughs> but, oh, I can't, I cannot stress just how excited I am uh, to get out and get some miles uh, on, on this new bike. So, and I love the color. I love that uh, it's got the black stem, but the orange body. I just, I love that, how it's kind of a mixed configuration. If you have questions about the Brompton, uh, ask away, but I'm still kind of new to it myself. So I'm gonna be learning uh, as we go. There are a couple other things that I wanna show you uh, about this bike before I end this video. Okay, so I've got the bike kind of quasi folded up. Uh, and what I wanted to show you was the thing that I bought, the two things that I bought for the bike um, just to have because they had them, they happened to have them in stock when I was there was um, there's a special toolkit you can get for the Brompton that fits right into the stem. So this is the toolkit right here and everything you need is inside this little tube. So it's just absolutely fantastic. Let me, um take it apart so you can see it has everything you need right there in this all-in-one tube and when I put it all back together as you can see here it goes back into this beautiful little tube and then it only fits one way in here and it goes right in and along that, those lines I also got a spare tube which I have tucked into this hole and so no matter where I go I always have my toolkit and my spare tube the other thing that I did not show you was integrated into the bike is an air pump. It's built right onto the frame of the bike. So I always have a pump, a spare tube, and my toolkit without anything else on the bike, which is just awesome. Oh man, it's so beautiful. I just, I can't, yeah, I can't contain myself. So 
I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna go explore on my new Brompton. I can't believe that sentence just came out of my mouth. So I'll see you guys all later. Take care, be safe.